Hello, I'm John Walton, and welcome to the Runway Girl Network PAX X Minute, in association with Aviation Gate. When you think of trains in Japan, you probably think sleek bullet trains zipping at over 200 miles an hour through an efficient and ubiquitous network spanning some of the most densely populated areas of the world, shuttling an incredible 8 billion passengers a year. Japan's trains are all of that and more. But the way the six Japan railway companies provide passenger experience is fascinating too. Train fares, for example, are based partly on distance and partly on the class of travel, and they don't vary depending on when you book, like airlines do. What most international observers would think of as local trains come in a variety of Japanese flavours, including rapid and express, fast and semi-fast, and so on. These feel like suburban trains in New York, London, Paris, or elsewhere. Long-distance trains are limited expressors, and the Shinkansen bullet trains are technically a subset of these, although they run on completely different tracks at often three times the speed. Taken together, these networks cover over 27,000 kilometres, 17,000 miles, and no wonder Japanese people prefer to take the train when their trip is less than 800 kilometres or 500 miles. Stations are clean and efficient, with helpful staff, and usually at least a small convenience store for food, drinks, and other supplies. Boarding is by carriage, with clearly marked locations on the platform for carriages 9, 10, and so on. The trains are comfortable, clean, spacious, and most offer a trolley coming around with food and drinks. Newer models also offer in-seat power, and Wi-Fi is available on the most frequently travelled route between Tokyo and Shin-Osaka, the Shinkansen station serving Osaka, Japan's second largest city. But the Japan Railway companies also offer what they call joyful trains, which are excursion services in specially designed trains. These might be the modern arch in Kansen, where every carriage is a gallery both inside and out. They might be a vintage steam train, chugging through beautiful seasonal countryside. They might even have a footpath on board, together with a full range of local sake and homey tatami mat seating areas. You won't find that on a plane. That's all for this week. Follow us on Twitter at ThatJohn and at RunwayGirl. Keep up to the minute with the PaxX hashtag and join us next time for the Runway Girl Network PaxX Minute. We're going.